The lore of Jason Voorhees is an iconic part of horror movie lore, one that has cemented its place in history as a horror staple. When this game was released, making it possible to play as the killer, it created excitement amongst the fans, and one would think this game would have Jason's story properly executed. With terrible controls, a lackluster, almost non-existent plot, and Dead by Daylight vibes, it's clear that this game was just made to be made. It wasn't made to be something with substance and a purpose. What's going on you guys, it's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome back to today's video. In this review, I'm going to be going over Friday the 13th and I have thoughts. I have lots of thoughts. Okay, where No, 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 no. You, you get back here, okay? Listen, listen to me. This game, this game, return it. I've never been more fast to go back to the pawn shop where I got it from. Never. I returned it and actually I got a game in exchange, Shadow of Mordor, so it kind of worked out all in the end. This game had gotten itself lost in a lawsuit and whenever I say lost, I mean way lost, away in the dumpster. I know this sounds kind of harsh and I know that a lot of people are going to be like, Ariel, didn't you enjoy anything of this game at all whatsoever? No, I did not. I played for almost three hours, I want to say. Yeah, three hours. And this game had to have been the most boring with a non-existent story I have ever seen in a game. Anytime that I went into it, because I went into it for two play sessions. I went into it the first time and the second day I went into it for another time and it was just as equally boring. You're literally just doing the exact same thing over and over and over and over and over again. This game got lost in a lawsuit and it stopped the servers and basically created the downfall of this game in its entirety. Now I'm going to share a quote with you guys that I thought really summed up the situation and what is going on with currently the lawsuit. So here is a little bit of a fill in in case you guys don't know what's going on. Currently there is a case being heard between the original screenwriter of Friday the 13th Victor Miller and director Sean Cunningham, who is also a producer and more than one other entry in the long running series. Miller claims that his rightful owner of Jason Voorhees on Friday the 13th and hopes to use his provisions of the U.S. copyright law that lets an author claim their work after 35 years. With this ongoing lawsuit and things really just taking an a strange kind of turn, I want to say, because everyone who knew this game when it first came out, they would play in the lobbies. It's really more of a multiplayer experience than it is a uh, than it is a single player one. Because the thing is, I went into multiplayer. I went into single player, and I just I had I don't I don't I can't no uh uh no just no with the ongoing lawsuit. Who knows if the lobbies and the soul of this game will come back to life like it once did for a lot of people. Because when I played this, keep in mind with, like I said before, a single player, the AIs were terrible, like actually terrible. <laughs> When I attacked them, they would barely run away, and if they would shoot at me, they would miss half the time. This game is incredibly repetitive and doesn't include much of the story of Jason. This game just exists as a Dead by Daylight wannabe and lost potential of something that could have been a true masterpiece. Could have gone through Jason's story as a single player story and multiplayer experience. This game was rather short, sweet, and the, to the point I want to say. But the thing is, is like, all joking aside, I really feel bad for this game. I, I really, really feel bad for this game. It could have done so much better. We could have seen so many more things. We could have done so many more different uh, play styles, the controls, just everything. It just felt, I don't know, it felt kind of lackluster. It felt like it was all over the place. It felt like it was really trying to be Dead by Daylight. It, it just, it, it, I don't know, it just felt like, Seeing as that Dead by Daylight came out in 2016 and this game 2017, I'm not really shocked at all that this game is very similar to Dead by Daylight. I feel like it's riding on the coattails of it a bit because when you look at this game, you see different options. You see the option to be stealthy. You see the option to have pretty much a lot of the same things as Dead by Daylight. You have a lot of like different sensory type movements. So I mean, you know, like you can even put obstacles in the way of Jason just the way you can with Dead by Daylight. So it's 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 riding on its coattails just a, just a little just a little bit just just ten, just a minution. I swear to God, I'm going to need my coffee more so than ever right now, because when I tell you that this game made me just it, mm. But you guys, that was it for today's review. I'm sorry I was so salty in this entire review, but this game, it made me, 
incredibly disappointed because I see how much potential it has. I see how, how it could have been something so incredible and it's just, it's just, it ha hashtag disappointing. But if you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below. I make videos every day here on YouTube. But with that being said, stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.